Hello there everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Squish reviewing NVIDIA. NVIDIA was a gap up today on earnings. It actually gapped up last night. We did not do it. We did not go long this. We didn't do calls in it. I am not going to right now. Will I someday in the future? Maybe. Right now there's too many things going on in the next 24 hours with the market, with the Jackson Hole meeting. And of course the market has fallen all day today. Part of that was NVIDIA, but there was other things too. There was a drag on the market. It was selling, real selling. So many of you know, what I like to do is I do like to short. I prefer to short. I'm shorting gap downs. I did not short NVIDIA. It would be ridiculous to short this. This is the strongest stock in the market. So I looked at it this morning and I watched it and I could tell right away out of the gate that it was off and we weren't going to go long it. And this ended up pulling the market down. Then, then we did do nice shorts. There were other things. We did not short this. So again, NVIDIA is strong. I'm not denying that. I'm not at all. I mean, you look at the move that it made, but it kind of got screwed up a couple of days ago when it had to move into the earnings and we didn't do it because the options were priced so ridiculous, so crazy going into the earnings that it didn't make any sense to do. Um, could you have made money? Yes, but I mean, the day to go long NVIDIA really was here. I looked at it. I thought about it. I, I just chose not to do it. But again, I would have never held that trade if I had gone long and gone done calls. I would have held it and would not have held it into the earnings because you never know. The earnings could have been the reverse direction because this could have opened at 400. But this trade was a bust to play as an earnings trade. And again, um, this is something that's been on my radar for a while. We've done trades in this. We've done lots of different things in this. Um, and I was looking forward to this this week. But you know, but I knew Monday then it was off and it wasn't going to do anything really right. And, you know, you watch it, you see, I know what to look for in the setups. I'm very good at the reading the one minute chart. I'm very good at reading the pre-market. I'm very good at reading the post-market, which I did last night. Uh, so this just failed. So if you tried to go along this today, or if you're, if you're still along this right now, you're, you know, you're asking for trouble taking this into tomorrow, not knowing where the market is in the morning, because this could fall another 50 points down until it reverses again. I think this is pretty much just done here for the for the moment. I mean, something would have to really convince me that the buying would have to come in 100% to make me and convince me to want to go long this anytime soon. And again, with the Jackson Hole meeting tomorrow and the Fed talking about interest rates, you know, it may be if we rally, but you know, there's no way to know that right now. So NVIDIA was a no play for us today. I did watch it. I knew the numbers. I knew what to look for. I knew what it had to do. It didn't do any of the things right to go long. And then it fell. Actually, I think this fell the second that it opened. It opened at 502.16 and the high was 502.66. So it made an attempt for a 50 cent rally and that was it. It was all it could do the whole day. So for those of you that don't know what I do, I trade momentum. We prefer to short. Again, the video would have been a long if it had set up, which it didn't. We would have done calls or gone long as a day trade. It was a bullish gap, but we didn't do it. If you have questions, or you'd like more information about trading options with me or the day trades, Email me, Melissa, at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day, everyone.